What is going on everyone and welcome back to the Ghouls Game and the Tech Channel. We are playing Cyberpunk 2077. We're playing it on the PS5 Pro. If you didn't watch my last videos, basically we're going to go through a series of testing out games on the PS5 Pro just to see how well the specs of the PS5 Pro holds up. Now, as you guys may or may not know, some games have been specifically enhanced for the PS5 Pro. So we're going to be testing some that are enhanced and some that at least on paper aren't. And just to see how well that PS5 Pro power is working with whatever game I choose. So we already did ones on um, Hogwarts Legacy, College Football 25, uh, Call of Duty, Black Ops 6. Those games are technically enhanced by the PS5 Pro. But we're also going to do some that aren't technically enhanced, but just to see if the power of the PS5 Pro gives any of those non-enhanced games any uptick in fidelity or, or and or performance. And this is one of them. We're doing Cyberpunk 2077. Now, do I think this game will eventually get a enhancement for the PS5 Pro? Yeah, I do. It wouldn't make any sense for them not to do it. For this game um because everybody you know likes this game at this point plays it and it would make no sense for this not to be enhanced by the ps5 pro so we're continuing on that and we're going to do other games as well so stay tuned i'll be dropping a video every single day uh testing out these games we're doing a 4k deep dive people so if you're new hit that subscribe button if you're new or returning hit that like button is definitely appreciated and here we go we're gonna look into the settings of each of these games uh some games they do come with a pro option for your display for graphics or performance um some don't even show that these options have been tailored for the ps5 pro they just have that enhancement built into the software now obviously this game is not built for the ps5 pro but we're going to look at these settings and kind of manipulate them throughout this video just to make sure that uh or not to make sure but just to see if the ps5 pro is doing any kind of enhancements when it comes to performance or fidelity so right now i have a graphics mode in ray tracing and i have the hdr mode in hdr 10 pq now you can change this to none back to pq and graphics mode you can have it ray tracing or performance so as you can see right here performance mode ensures smooth gameplay at 60 frames with dynamic 1800p scaling ray tracing mode provides photorealistic rendering of shadows as well as gameplay at 30 frames per second with dynamic 4k scaling so we're going to start off in ray tracing and then hdr 10pq and then for the hdr settings this is pretty much what i have the game in right now maximum brightness is pretty low tone mapping midpoint paper white and hdr 10pq saturation so we're going to probably leave these as they are. I don't want to manipulate these too much because uh, from what I experienced, it kind of throws the picture off like pretty significantly. If you make these like super high or even in the middle, it looks just, it's an eyesore. So we're going to leave it at that. And throughout this, we're not going to mess with the HDR settings too much, but we're going to mess with the HDR mode and the graphics mode. So uh, let's go. Let's see. I think I can... Oh my god, turn that music off. I think I can call my car. I want to get in some type of gunfight before I go into this mission, just so we can see how this works out. So as you can see, I'm moving left to right. This, again, the ray tracing mode is on. You pretty much can clearly see... You can clearly see the 30 frames. It's not smooth like the 60. As I'm moving around. It's... Uh, and I don't mean to make you guys dizzy. Uh, to shake the screen too much. But yeah. Clearly the image is pretty nice looking. But those 30 frames. That's what pretty much gets you in this mode. So like I said. We're going to be switching throughout. And I just want to get into a gunfight really quick. Just to see how well this works fight me come on fight me there we go we got some fighting whoa I should have got a collateral was that it 
Look at all these people. They're they're scared. Pretty lackluster fight, but hey, it is what it is. All right, so we're gonna go to this mission. We're gonna go to this mission. I do want um to get some cutscenes in here so you guys can see. Get on the bike. Get on. Can I not get on? It's my bike. There we go. Look at this guy. Oh. They're trying to get me. Again, the ray tracing looks amazing as usual. We're going to take a little look at the uh, scenery right here. This looks amazing. Never short. Um, this game always looked good to me, in my opinion, before the PS5 Pro. Um, does the previous Fire Pro make a huge difference in ray tracing mode? I don't think so, but it definitely looks a tad bit smoother as far as the picture and uh, a little bit sharper. Just a smidget. Not too much, but uh, my personal opinion for the ray tracing mode prior to the PS5 Pro was that it was good, but uh, the 30 frames always kind of threw me off. It kind of deterred me from wanting to uh, use this mode. The 30 frames isn't as bad right now, but it's still pretty 30 frames-ish. You know, I am definitely used to the smooth 60, and we're going to switch to that, like I said. But um, ray tracing was always okay. It looked good, but once I started moving, it kind of made me not want to do it. And then performance. Obviously, it runs buttery smooth, but the image quality definitely took a down tick. So that was one thing that, or two things that really uh, turned me off about these two modes. Um, and the whole goal of the PS5 Pro, if you guys don't know, is they said it was supposed to blend performance with quality or fidelity a lot smoother. Uh, so it's less of a difference um, that you would notice. So we're going to see right now. I noticed a slight difference in performance when you're in a fidelity or ray tracing mode. But nothing, you know, all too crazy. But um, as far as the GPU, the graphics processing unit, usually that more so applies to images in the distance kind of popping in as you get closer to them. It's basically the computer knowing to load those images. To me, it looks like the draw distance, everything is pretty much loaded already uh, in the draw distance. I don't, whoa, I went under that car. I don't see anything really loading as I'm getting closer. Everything looks like it's already loaded up, which is great. But yeah, this city looks amazing as usual. And we're gonna switch to, once we get to the cutscene, we're gonna switch in and out of performance and ray tracing. Actually, we'll switch right now. We'll switch to We'll keep ray tracing on actually right now, and then we'll turn this on to none, and we'll keep driving, and then once we get to our location, we'll turn on performance. Uh, the colors definitely look a little bit richer, a little bit more true tone, but also kind of less real, if that makes any sense. Not as shiny as, a, as whoa, they're trying to, they're trying to take me out, oh. So the character models, they look pretty detailed. Uh, but yeah, uh, the colors are pretty, pretty deep, pretty strong colors. It's just that the image as a total doesn't look as sharp with this HDR 10 Q off. So we're going to turn that back on really quick. But yeah, there's more reflections, more lighting when you turn this on, but I feel like the image as a whole looks a little bit more uh, like paper-ish or cartoonish kind of. Not really the photorealistic kind of thing I'm looking for. And we're going to turn on performance now. Just so we can see how performance works as we're driving. How smooth it is. So this 
is nice. You definitely notice the uh, 60 frames. And the main thing is, yeah, the 60 frames was there before the PS5 Pro, but the main thing I'm noticing now is the image quality is actually still really good in performance mode. Before, I kid you not, I did not want to play too much on performance because the image quality definitely took a serious downtick. But it is running smooth and it still looks amazing. This looks good. Look at that. That looks amazing. So yeah. So the main thing with the PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution is that uh, it's giving a uptick in image quality as far as the resolution scaling. So it's pretty much if you're putting it in performance mode, it's pretty much pushing it up to like a 1440p image, but it's upscaling it to 2k or 4k i forget which one it was but it's upscaling it so that you can still get those 60 frames but you're getting like a a 2k or 4k experience still so it's definitely not as sharp as ray tracing or not as clean as ray tracing but it's pretty it, it compares like pretty pretty close like I, looking at this mode now i'd much rather run in performance than ray tracing because the image still looks pretty dang gone good uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments am i in my head or no like this kid looks pretty detailed i like the 60 frames everything's running smooth it didn't look like this on the base ps5 look at this guy yeah this looks good so take a take a screenshot look at this image right here and now we're going to switch back to ray tracing let's see yeah the kids kind of stuttering a little bit obviously because it's at 30 frames but again like i said the image the colors the sh reflections the shadows everything looks a lot clearer in ray tracing it's just that's cool it's just these 30 frames when I mean, you see you shake side to side to side these 30 frames aren't where it's at but this would be great if you're standing still you don't have to worry about those 30 frames god i feel sick don't like this at all this porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news can you chill for two secs we go in we talk we leave that's it Mr. Johnny Silverhand right here. This she place the place looks great. Shit. Again, not with too much movement going on, the ray tracing definitely looks amazing. Excellent. You have come. Yes, lady. Let's, let's step to it. Then. Let's get to it, girl. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. Weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobu killed your now, father. Now look at this. The rain on the window. No. I knew. Looks great. From the great start. detail. You knew. Let's see if we switch this to performance. Is that rain as clear? All the board members knew. Not one Still pretty good, but it looks like a gray fog is more so over it now. But Details were still pretty decent. Let's switch back to ray tracing. Inconsistent. Uh, that gray fog still there, so I guess that's nothing to do with performance or ray tracing. But yeah, overall, the uh, rain on the windows looks pretty on point. Well, then we were gonna talk biz specifics. Let us do so. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you finger would. on the trigger. Don't say a word. Take me for a fool. Think I'd fall for that? Got plans to walk out of here alive. 
Had I any ill intentions, I would have chosen a side far more discreet than this. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning? Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Again, the Where? detail in this game is amazing. Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave right now. Only thing I wish is that uh, I would play this game so much more. I play it a decent amount, but I kind of stopped as much. But I would play this game so much more if there's a dedicated Sit. third person we mode. We have little time. Like, I like first person games, but it's pretty limited. You know, mainly Call of Duty. But this game, I would love for this to be in third person, or at least the option to have it in third person. Want to leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. So he's reflecting. We have time. His his uh, reflection is on this countertop as he moves, which is pretty good. Obviously, we're in the ray tracing mode. So let's see if they're still there in performance. And if it is, that's pretty good. It's a nod to the PS5 Pro again. And they are. And the image still looks pretty darn good. Just a lot Sit. smoother. The color kind of took a down tick, but it still looks good. Sure know how to prick up my ears. Go on, talk. My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Sounds like dirty laundry. A family matter. Why should I get involved? You already are. You the shadows on so. her face, they're pretty responsive as well and How pretty you plan to do this? anatomically correct. The freckles. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to... Let's see how this performance looks with this off. Attend. I almost forgot it was in performance. I thought it was in ray tracing. For them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting. And you will testify against my brother. This image is testify. a little bit more flat. Listen, more color, but a little you. bit more flat. Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Offers intriguing. Need to think about it. Naturally. But think quickly. Yorinobu yes, is on high alert after the parade. He may harbor suspicions. Alright, we're switching back to ray tracing. And we'll leave that off as well, the HDR mode. Let's fly the fuck out of here. V, do you feel alright? Huh? You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. B's going through it, man. Don't delay. Make your decision. Uh, I'll think it over. You could use some air right now. All right, let's turn HDR mode back on. What up, dude? Oh, I got a feeling he's about to pass out. But yeah, let me take a look. This rain, oh my gosh, it looks so good. I can't get over it. That's what it looks like when it's just pouring down, just disgusting out. Let me check out these cars and let's check out what HDR mode off. Let's see what that looks like. A little bit more color, like I said. I don't know. HDR mode on and off, I think, personally looks pretty good. And I don't. Again, that could be um, attributed to the power of the PS5 Pro, because I will take that. Uh, because it has that 
PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution. So it's pretty much cleaning up the image at a super fast rate, which is awesome. And the advanced ray tracing. So yeah, image quality with ray tracing with HDR mode off still looks pretty good. It's the colors are definitely a bit more punchy. But I guess this one looks a little bit more natural, I suppose. V is going through it. I warned you. What? What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm showing you what it's like to feel fucking trapped. Asked you. Warned you. But you've insisted I'm not giving a shit. Now this porcelain cunt's gonna use you in her fancy scheme. Fuck off. I haven't agreed to anything But yet. I know you still don't understand how these leeches operate. She met you face to face. She revealed her plan. She sunk her teeth deep into you. Not gonna be able to pry yourself out. Got any other ideas? I'd love to hear them. No? Then shut up and back off! Hey, you'd better relax. I am fine. Great, you checking out again? Yo, B got some issues, man. What am I? No, it's not what you think. Not yet, anyway. Easy there. Don't move just yet. Um, so I know this game was originally made for the PS4 and the PS5 later upgraded, but um, I did load the PS5 version of this game. over sensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. But if you guys don't know, in the PS5 Pro menu, there's an option to uh, enhance the image quality of PS4 games which is amazing so if there's a particular ps4 game that you guys like if you turn that option on in your playstation settings menu i believe it's under uh video or screen and video then it will give you a graphical upgrade in image quality on your ps4 games now like i said this is a ps5 version of cyberpunk but there's also a ps4 version if you guys were wondering how how'd i get here Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. Gave Misty a hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded. So you let's be look at the details in his face and his acne and shadows and everything with the glasses. Uh -huh. I... Shadow's pretty good, so let's turn ray tracing off. And let's see if performance will still give us that graphical quality as in the ray tracing mode. Yeah, uh, wasn't completely myself. So for the most part, yeah, it's, it's about the same. But That's re really quick, worrying. there's, as you can see, the shadow for his glasses on his eyes. It's like it's splattered a little bit. It kind of looks like a bunch of gnats just flying around his eyes. Gonna keep me waiting Hopefully, all day. Hopefully you guys can see that. But yeah, it's a little difference and slight, slight difference in quality, but still overall pretty good. He's, he's pretty detailed. These little marks on his arms, his veins, his skin texture, his equipment, his clothing. Performance looks pretty good. I mean, some minor details uh, like the shadows on his glasses, but, you know, that can be overlooked. So, how bad we talking? That bad, huh? All right. That should be a little better. Try sitting up carefully. The acne on his face still looks pretty much the same. Uh, dip, didn't really drop off in quality from ray tracing or performance. Now let's turn off HDR 10. Again, why you would turn this off, me waiting it's personal preference. Again, the color is a little bit more saturated, but uh, it definitely looks better with it on. So we're going to turn it 
back on and then go to ray tracing because we don't really need 60 frames for this this scene right here and it's just to show you guys the differences i'll try i think i'm getting some feeling back ah just slowly ah, another victory for the history books Hmm. Well, looks like I can sit up all right, but I can tell you don't have good news. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? Yeah, I know. Thoughts on where to start? Jesus, again. Do I have to spell it out? It's in your hands, not mine, and not those of that thing in your head. Now, see that setup over there? Uh-huh. You'll find something there that'll help you end this on your own terms. If you can manage to cross those few yards, the rest will be up to you and you alone. Why the heck is Johnny standing like that? He looks crazy. On your own terms, huh? Really subtle there, Doc. Enough, Johnny. I just... <laughs> Let's switch back to performance. Gotta think about it. Need to stretch, stretch your noodle? noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, it's in, not this in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Huh? Out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. Uh, I think I can do it. Again, the graphical quality Whatever and performance mode is sure stunning. Out of here first. Like I said, this looks so good in performance. It did not look like this on the base PS5. Everything looks, all the images, all the objects, they look pretty sharp. They don't look fuzzy. They don't look uh, out of tune with the color that's supposed to be, the textures of everything. Uh, I guess this wall could be a little bit more textured. Let's see if we switch to ray tracing. Does that texture of that wall improve at all? No, it's pretty much the same. So that really doesn't matter. So I guess that wall was meant to look that way, which is a good sign for performance. So you're not really losing much of anything with performance. But yeah, just, you know, with for those of you who don't know with the smoothness of 60 frames if you're ever up in the air about whether you want 60 frames or 30 frames performance versus fidelity in some cases with certain games when you put it in performance the 60 frames gives you a smoother image which sometimes unintentionally or you could say intentionally gives you a better looking image because it's so smooth so you know take that with a grain of salt but just in my experience that's been what it was We're gonna get out of here. Hey V, I heard. Well, your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy for either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure, sure. let's go, girl. The way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Again, perfect scenario. We're going outside. The 60 frames make this, this scene look so smooth. In turn, it makes the actual image quality looks a lot better, in my opinion. Just the, the 
just the entire environment looks so good because it's running so smooth. Top her, floor. Her character model is, you know, she's not meant to be the cleanest looking, but it looks good. And they say I've got my head in the clouds. Earth to be. And look at the detail in her her jacket. It looks pretty thought out, pretty meticulous, and it looks very high def, like very sharp, high resolution. Hello? So let's turn it to ray tracing and see if we get a little bit improvement on her clothing. Anybody there? Yeah, definitely an improvement. It's more of a, a, a natural or realistic tone. But either way, I think you're good in both options if you have the PS5 Pro. He had the same glum face. And I will say, Ooh, her hair looks better. This is it, Chica. It, it actually moves. I'm done for. Because in Hogwarts you Legacy, like when I tested that game, the hair didn't move too much in whatever setting you had His it in. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me, Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm -hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but he found the courage to bet on himself. After, I brought him here. All right, let's look at the sharpness in the floor. You have some minor reflections on here, but I'm wondering if ray tracing will make it look a little bit more. Oh, it was actually in ray tracing. Okay. Okay, so it's still pretty much about the same. Yeah, so the advanced ray tracing in the PS5 Pro is definitely worth the money because it is working heavy duty for these scenes, which I thought it was in performance just now, but it was in ray tracing. And it looks the same in both, so. Uh, that's more that's like awesome. Air. See that? More reflections. Again, this is a ray tracing type of feature with reflections, and you got that in thoughts. performance and ray tracing mode on here. Let's check this out. She's on to something. Still looks pretty. Honest it's definitely a lot more detailed in ray tracing yourself. mode, but still. Both modes look pretty damn good. Thanks, Misty. You were right. Choice spot. So what... What did Jackie decide of here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That would you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way. The scenery here looks it. amazing. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. This little Do mist or smoke wait. right here. No, not this, really my style. This doesn't Goodbye. look like actual smoke. It looks like images of smoke you kind of you. layered on top of one another. Come it's not it's not really flowing. Heavenly. Just think. It all started in a fucking land. But the smoke over here looks like it's actually flowing. Tried to kill me. And this is ray tracing mode. So let's put it in performance. See how that looks. Exactly what I mean. Here smoke is still good. Now, together, soaking in this and this smoke looks the same. My only regrets that I won't get to see how it all ends. You're the one who rejects the only option we got left. Cooperating with monsters like them, anything's better. And you can see the shadow on his face for his hair. Again, it looks like a whole bunch of like gnats or flies buzzing around on his face, like the shadows of them. Doesn't look like a true shadow. And hopefully you guys, it, it comes through once this is compressed and rendered to YouTube. Uh, but there's definitely a difference in performance and ray tracing but still like i said still pretty good no shadow now once you turn it to ray tracing no shadow where his hair is supposedly supposed to be 
think it's worth taking a chance in Arasaka. The fuck was that? God, how are you so fucking stubborn? Inherited your finer traits. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Yeah, just don't freak out. Honestly, couldn't give a gnat shit. Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out, uh... Just wanna be there for it. Where? See you inside, Mikoshi. Johnny? Okay, just me now. All right, you guys, so that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, I did a pretty good uh, job of displaying the power of the PS5 Pro, at least for this game. Again, the reason I'm doing these tests is because some games aren't quote unquote enhanced for the PS5 Pro, but due to the power that's already in the PS5 Pro, it could subtly enhance some of these games that aren't on that list, that short list. So uh, I think this was a clear display of how the PS5 Pro is working to enhance even some of the games that aren't already enhanced for the PS5 Pro. So this is a pretty good 4K deep dive. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and I will continue to push out these uh, PS5 Pro gameplays every day to see how these games hold up with that power of the PS5 Pro. So thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.